Welcome back, this is the Amma Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Corridor Suicidal. This is, of course, a game where you have to put on enable cheats. So you have to have access to this. Because I'm not running all the way back down there. Are you kidding me? You're crazy. It's such, a, it's such a long run. Why would I do that when I can just enable cheats and call it a day? You know, I haven't been to the vault in, I think, a month or two now. I don't go to it anymore. So I've got like 60 of the uh, the loot crates from there at the moment, and then uh, who knows how much like uncounted like Vosh right now. We might check that out after this episode. Uh, we're not gonna be opening up the crates because I just I don't I don't I don't want to. <laughs> it's a lot of crates, and I just I don't want to. Like, I've already got a perfect out. I've got a perfect look right now. Why why would you ask for anything more? So he's playing on the endless on this map. It's uh, it's kind of strange being on uh, on uh, on survival. All right, bud, you little sucker. I'm not walking all the way down there. You're crazy, lady. You're crazy. Look at that walk. It's like a billion. Why can't you put a trader up here? Just put a trader here and a trader there, or make the whole thing like you know, just kind of like it. Put the wall in a little bit and just make that whole section of trader area. You know, I think you can do that. I don't know. I've made a map. I might make a map one day. I'm not going to say it's a good map. I'm not going to say I'm going to make a good map. But I might make a map one day. I bet I could do it. You know, we might make a meme map. A Yamajack themed map. I could do it. It'd be trash. That's why it's Yamajack themed. But I mean, you know, trash is, is, is good sometimes. That's why you're all watching, right? This is this is when uh, <laughs> every time I uh, I say something negative about myself, the uh, one of the one of the viewers who I uh, I speak to on Discord, he'll uh, he always say, "Well, I like it." I'm like I know you like it. I'm being facetious. It's it's the, it's the character I have to put on for the sake of entertainment. You know, people like the the mild self degradation, self degradation, self. I don't, I don't think that's I don't think that's quite the right self self degrading humor. I don't know, man. Look, <laughs> I'm dumb. He'd probably agree with that one. But uh, it's you know it's a. Uh, I think I'm coming into my character a little bit on YouTube. And when people say, you know, they've got a character that they play on YouTube or whatever, and they've got uh, that persona that they put on, and it's not, they don't really behave that way in real life. Like, people get mad. They're like, well, if you're, if you're just doing it for the views, then blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, I mean, kind of. <laughs> Is that not the point of YouTube? Like, yeah, it's fun to record videos, but if there's no watching them then it, it stops being fun you know so you gotta you gotta you gotta do what you can to grow your channel and and uh, you know provide entertaining content that people actually like because if you don't then you don't get the viewers and then it's not fun to record and uh, so you gotta you, you gotta put on a bit of character Cause if I'm just gonna be myself when I'm, I'm recording like honestly I'm boring me, me being me when I'm like just playing games. I mean, it's boring. Nobody, nobody's gonna want to watch that. Nobody's gonna wanna pay to watch that. Nobody's gonna wanna. No, nobody's gonna wanna watch that. It's just, it's not. It's not uh, particularly entertaining content for me to just be here and, and play the game in the way that I would normally play it. Right. So I have to talk. And if I'm gonna be talking when I'm playing a game, then I'm sorry, but I have to put on a. I have to put on a character. I mean, the character is you know based on me, right? I'm not like. You know, well, I gotta build up a character, uh, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go for, uh, you know, a high int on this one. You know, no, no, like, it's... It's me, but, like, extreme me, right? And that's what, uh, that's what everybody wants to see. I hope. I think I'm pretty entertaining. But, uh... I feel like I'm coming into my character a little bit, and it's, uh... Feels good. Feels, it feels really good to, to do it. Like, the Amishak tries has helped a lot towards that end because, uh, like, the cook served delicious. I won't say it was, uh, 
top tier commentary, but I feel like for me, I pulled out some good stuff in that video, and I felt I felt pretty confident in it afterwards, and it's, it's been performing fairly well so far. It's only been up for, I don't know, three and a half hours at this point, and we got like two or three views on it, which is incredible for me. Two likes, some comments. I mean, we're doing, we're popping off on that. It's pogging, right? And, uh, and that just feels good. It just, it just feels good for it to be, uh, for it to be doing that. And I, I feel like it's deserved because I, I feel like I, I really pulled out all the stops in that video and got some, some decent commentary going on in it. And, uh, that, you know, the Yamajack tries has definitely been helping me kind of develop the, the persona that I have for, for YouTube. I mean, the KF2 in particular doesn't really get much of a, like, character shift for me, but the Yamajack tries, I, uh, I definitely try to put on a, a more entertaining persona, because to me the uh, the Amajack, the well, the KF2 is uh, is something that I just record for the sake of recording, right? Like I will I will just record 14 episodes just because why not, right? And uh, the Amajack tries is something that I record mostly as a uh, marketing ploy, honestly, like. And again, that kind of stuff annoys people often as well, is, is when you're trying to market yourself or, or doing something that is primarily just to, to bring in viewers, but like, I'm having fun with it, it's fun, it's, it's honestly it's been a great experience, um, but you know, I'm doing it mostly because I have to have more stuff to get more views, to get more subscribers and, and whatnot, right? So I want to put in a little bit of extra effort and try to make it a little bit more entertaining than I do the KF2, and then the KF2 is more vloggy style content with KF2 stuff in the background anyway so I mean you know eh, whatever right it's that's uh, good fun I'm gonna do one more video because this is seven minutes seven minutes is, is is too far below the too far below the the, the requisite time for me I'm in the mood for some recording today. I'm having fun. It's not super hot. I'm actually wearing quite warm clothes, so it's uh, it's peculiar. Can I still open this up? No, we have to enable cheats. It's peculiar. It's a little pecky that uh, it is so uh, not cold or not hot right now because I am wearing uh, quite warm clothes. I would expect to be uh, like drenched in sweat right now, and I'm not. And I'm not complaining about that. That's fantastic, but. Anyway, yeah, so uh, KF2 is more of a like, vloggy style content, so I don't particularly put on too much of a persona here. I do a little bit. Um, I do, I do a little bit, but for the most part, it's 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 pretty close to just me being me and uh, talking about whatever. I just kind of use it to, to get out whatever I'm, I'm feeling about. You know, I was uh, I was uh, I was uh, I don't even know where it's going with that. Anyway, it's uh, it's good. Good fun. Good innocent fun. Synthetic Legion Rising is coming soon. I'm really excited about that one. It's going to be another long term series. I don't know what else. Cook Serve Delicious, maybe. I had a lot of fun recording that, honestly. And I, like I said, I feel like the commentary in it was pretty, pretty decent uh, given my standard. Ooh, good. Given my standard of. Uh, of quality, I feel like the uh, the quality in Cook Serve Delicious, the the Am Jack tries was was you know pretty good. I feel like we did all right there. I haven't watched it back, but uh, the response has been pretty positive, and I felt pretty confident after recording it. So that's that's kind of my my metric. Um. So I might I might do a series on that. I don't know. It would be fun to go through the whole series. I I said in Cook Serve Delicious that I probably won't do a series on it, but I don't know. Maybe. Like it was it was a lot of fun. And I think there's technically an end to it. I do not know. I do not know. We could just play it until it's done. You know, it, until it's had its fun and done its thing. And then uh, pop over to Cook Serve Delicious 2. And uh, hop over to the uh, the other one. Cook Serve Delicious question mark exclamation mark. Or as, as some people call it, 3. My knife has uh, has come. The thing with it, it's a, it's a carbon steel knife. 
right, my uh, my kitchen knife, my Santoku chef's knife. It's it's arrived, as I had mentioned previously. It is a uh, wonderful knife. It, it's not super sharp, honestly. I'm not sure if I mentioned that before, but I'm going to talk about it again. So, if I've already talked about it, you know, it sucks to be you, bro. But it's not particularly sharp, so I have to I have to resharpen it again. But like I was I was testing it out, as you do with the, the three finger test of sharpness and paper and tomatoes and grapes and just like using it. Oh no, I totally did. I totally did talk about it. So I was going on about the uh, the thinness of the the knife really making a difference for uh, cutting up onions and stuff. But anyway, it's not that sharp. So I do have to uh, to sharpen it again, which is coming up. I'm working on a uh, parry knife that we have. It's not a very good parry knife, but it's uh, the, the one that I, I'm allowed to sharpen in this household. My mom has a, a ceramic paring knife that she uses, which is her baby. It's very, very dull and super dangerous to use, but she's, uh, she's very backwards when it comes to knives, so she gets, uh, it's, it's funny because she'll get up She'll get upset when I uh, when I like sharpen knives or something because she'll be like, oh well, you can't, you have to, you have to tell us before you do that. You can't just sharpen all the knives. Like we're gonna cut ourselves. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be dangerous. These sharp knives are dangerous. I'm like, well, not like if you're cutting yourself with a sharp knife, then you know, yeah, it's dangerous, but you're not gonna cut yourself with a sharp knife. So I I see her with the uh, with whatever other knife she's gonna use, which is like generally speaking like the dullest one she can find and she's applying so much pressure to cut through like cucumber or something like that right and I'm like yeah if that slips you're losing a finger because you are applying so much force to make it cut through the cucumber that like you're just it's, it's gonna just slice you up and, and do some some pretty bad damage and then you know I'll take my my uh, any of the knives that I've sharpened and uh, I'll, I'll also cut through cucumber and I have to apply no pressure so I have maximum control and there's no slippage and uh, you know if anything goes wrong I have, I have enough time to react to it and uh, like basically 0% chance that I'm gonna cut myself with it right because there, I'm not applying enough pressure for anything bad to happen because you don't have to apply pressure to cut through a cucumber if you have to apply pressure to cut through a cucumber then you have a bad knife okay I'm just I'm, I'm telling you straight up Okay, your knife needs to be sharpened. It's dangerous. Anyway, she doesn't let me uh, sharpen all the paring knives. So I have the uh, the one. It's not a particularly great, but it's you know it's got a it's got a handle. It's got a blade, and it's a uh, it's solid stainless steel. So you know what can you do? It's uh, it's good enough. So I've been uh, been sharpening. It. I'm trying to thin it a little bit right now, but that's kind of a a process, and I didn't really get it all done on the first pass unfortunately so it's actually like really really dull right now because I kind of messed up the thinning of the uh, the secondary edge and oh I forgot I forgot to buy ammunition or a new gun are you for real right now for real <laughs> goodness gracious me okay we are so screwed right now. You cannot hit me. You cannot hit me. When I say you cannot hit me, I mean you can hit me. Anyway, I've been I've been thinning the uh, the paring knife, and uh, we're getting there. We're making progress. Taking off a lot of metal. <laughs> Cause it's a very thick knife, and I want uh, I want something to cut that's not carbon steel for like um, if I'm cutting up like. I don't know, cucumber, for instance, or something. Well, something that's not my carbon steel knife that I have to go and, like, clean properly. If I just want to, like, slice up, I don't know, tomatoes or something, right? Like, tomatoes or strawberries or, or you know, whatever. I mean, like, cherry tomatoes. Um, if I was using, like, a proper tomato, I'd probably get my, my proper knife. But, like, cherry tomatoes or, like, grapes or, or something small that I want to cut up. I don't want to go and grab this, like, seven-inch long knife. I want to take a smaller one. So I'm trying to thin it out a little bit to make it a little bit better. And also just for a backup knife if, uh... If ever I need it, but got uh, got some more work to do on it for sure. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you 
next time. Bye-bye.